Hi, little dude. Hey, this book is about you. It's called Trouble. Mm. Let's see what kind of trouble. Here comes trouble. Squirrel leads a quiet life. Uh -huh. She gardens, right. drinks tea, hmm. and loves her pet mouse chamomile. Aww. But then a new neighbor moves in, and Squirrel isn't sure she likes the look of him. That's rude. He wears strange clothes. Yeah. He does strange things. Like what? I don't know. We'll find out. And she is certain he's trouble. Then something horrible happens. Chamomile disappears. What? Squirrel is convinced it's Trouble's doing. That guy's named Trouble. She named him Trouble. Okay. But who is really to blame? And just how much trouble can one teapot wielding squirrel cause? We shall see. Hmm. Trouble. Oh. And Camille the mouse. So you got family pictures, squirrel and chamomile, and then they're doing stuff with a bush, and then she's just sleeping, aww, and then there's her in a teapot, aww, and then they've made a snowman. That's cute. Snowmen don't need scarves. They're cold, naturally. Our new neighbor turned up one day without warning. Hmm. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Bear moving company. I don't know where he came from, but I knew just from looking at him. He was trouble. Aw, you can't judge. I mean, look at him. He's this way is up, but he's holding it sideways. Delinquent. He has a home sweet home thing. Look, look, look at his, it's fragile, but it's upside down. Why are you judging? I'm not judging. Yes, she's I am. in the corner. Like, so she, who are you? Who are you? She's looking at the neighbors like we do. <laughs> Camille's just over there chilling. She's got a tea box or a teapot for a mailbox. Well, this one's just actually that one's pretty nice. I like that one. But let's see what kind of trouble we can get. Camille and I have seen his type before on the television. Oh dear. We can hear him through our shared wall. He went bang, bang, because he was a wild animal. Growl, oh, he hit his thumb. Smash, oh, he put his foot through the table. Clumsy bear, he's just trying to move in. And she's over here like, what in the world is happening on the other side of that wall? He had terrible teeth. Anatomy of a bear. You got his canines and molars and incisors. Those look like terrible teeth. Mm. And knife-like claws. <gasps> but she's the one doing that in the lamp. Oh. And huge, horrifying hungers. Get into my belly, he says. He eats mooses and deers and bunnies. Rude. <gasps> and mouse? Oh, he's brushing but his teeth. But let's see. Teeth. He's just brushing his teeth. Oh, that's and so cute. He's he doesn't nice. have claws. He's filing them and he has little bunny slippers. And he does have hunger, but he's eating a lot, a lot of cookies. He's a big man. But she says trouble was not to be trusted. Let's see about that. Trouble wore strange clothes. That is strange. And did strange things. What is he doing? Are you gonna explain? She just ignored him. Oh, that's rude. So over here, he has planted a whole bunch of flowers. It Sunflowers. looks like there's a whole bunch of bees around. Oh, look, it's an old cookie jar. And it looks like he's a beekeeper with a little hat. Did that rat just meow? Yeah, the, the rat just meowed. Okay, I'm just making sure. But it wasn't long before trouble came knocking. Oh no, she spilled her tea. Do you notice that chamomile's all over trouble? Yeah, chamomile knows what's up. He's like... You friend. I brought you a present. And look at his knit scarf. That's so amazing. 
chamomile is just like, I know who you are. I knew he was up to no good. Did you, did you know? Because he just looks like he has a jar of something. Look at those teeth. She opens the blinds and it's just teeth. <gasps> but what happened? She barricaded the door. Oh. And now chamomile can't get back in. That makes sense. Trouble lurked around every corner. Exotic teas. Tea. Dennis. Milk. Cat food? Cat food. Cat food for chamomile. Cat, but he's a rat. And he, he's over there just like, oh, I see you. Hello. And apparently he's at the dentist too. I mean, it makes sense. Even bears need checkups. And that's when something horrible happened. Screaming babies, of course. Oh, the baby just dropped his chupone. Trouble attacked. Oh, look, the baby has his chupone. Oh, no. The box is falling over and it's going to squash chamomile. Now, I was the wild animal. She's yelling at trouble because chamomile almost got crushed. She has to protect him, so she runs home. And trouble's following. But trouble followed close behind. Nowhere was safe. I think I understand what's happening here. But Chamomile says, hi, Trouble. So I stacked up and packed up and was ready to leave for good, but... Crash! <gasps> Where'd Chamomile go? I think Chamomile was going to go fix the situation and be yeah. like, maybe you shouldn't judge people based on their covers. Where was Chamomile? Next door, Trouble was up to something suspicious. Then I heard... Trouble had chamomile. He was going to eat her. Oh, he would gnash his terrible teeth in a sandwich. Then he would slash his knife-like claws. Oh. And fill his huge, horrifying hunger. Oh, no, not the nut pie. I would have preferred the artwork be like this the whole time. I burst in. Ready for trouble. What's she gonna do? Smack him with the pot? Smack him with a teapot! Bang! <gasps> yeah. Oh, look at all those cookies. That's when I realized he wasn't trouble. What's he doing? Oh, he's a chef. He went to chef school. He was chef school. He has a family. He's a beekeeper. He does the cookies. And he's knitting what looks like a scarf. A pretty long scarf. And Camille's just there playing with the string. And look at his shelf. He just has honey and cookies and cactuses and more cookies. And top hats. Hello. And that's when she realized he was in trouble. <gasps> I was. Oh. Look at that. She destroyed the flowers. She knocked over chairs. She broke a vase. A $3,000 vase. Oh, man. She now has to work. So he is in trouble. But let's see what happens. I wanted to say sorry, but I didn't know how. So instead I said, do you drink tea? Well, it turns out that teas and cookies are the perfect pair. Ah, oh, look at that. He knit a cozy for the teapot. It's impressive. Each may be different. Oh, he made a, 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 what is it, a snowman shaped like squirrel, and she did one shaped like, like bear. Wow. And she used cookies for the buttons. It's <laughs> funny. And now they're planting stuff. I think flowers. Tulips? I don't know. Three lips, because they look so good. Okay. But somehow they make the other better. And suddenly, you can't imagine life any other way. So... They were tulips, and they both planted some, and she's watering his, and he's offering cookies, and she took one with her tail. Yeah, but, like, Camomile's over here just chilling. Yeah. 
could I trouble you for some tea? No troubles at all. Aww. Now they're friends. See, you shouldn't judge people based on their looks. As, you know, surprise, surprise. A friendship formed over tea and cookies. And look at that. Now you've got honey. You forgot chamomile. Chamomile is kind of a big part of this. Yes, that too. Like I said, tea. I hope you enjoyed that one, kid. See you later, kid. Bye. Bye.